Hey guys, welcome back. It's Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Facebook reel in Canva. So, before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So, let's get started. This case, for you to start creating your reels for your Facebook account, what we need to do is we need to open up Canva first. So, the great thing about Canva here is you have the option to change a few things whenever you're creating videos. So, in this case, let's go ahead and go to our account here. So I'm already locked in into my account, but if you haven't, go to canva.com, lock in. And from here, let's go ahead and click on create design. Now from here, we want to go ahead and click on custom size. And from here, let's go ahead and search for the standard sizes for Facebook Creel. So it's going to be 1080 by 1920. Let's go ahead and import those uh, sizes here. From here, let's go ahead and create new design. Now from here, what we need to do is we now need to start adding our videos. So in this case, you want to go ahead and go to uploads here and basically start adding whatever video that you have. So for example, I'm just going to get a video or stock video here. Let's go ahead and search for a video that we could use. So in this case, let's go ahead and just type in a video here as an example, press on enter. And you want to go to video section here, click on see all. And from here, what we need to do is we need to choose a video that we want to use. So I want to use the free ones here. So as an example, I want to use all this video here. Let's go ahead and drag it in here. And also, I want to add a video here for uh, this one as well. Let's go ahead and add another video here. So let's just say I want to add this one as well. In this case, uh, let's go ahead and proceed. So in this case, you might be wondering, why is our view like this one? Well, we need to change our view here to a video format. So what I like doing here is I want to click on the uh, show pages option here. And what I want to do is I want to click on duration. So we now have a duration for our video. So let's go and resize the length for this one. So for example, I want to move this part of this video into this one. So we now have two pages. Now in this case, you could go ahead and resize your video here. So let's just resize our video here real quickly. And uh, let's just add our, in this case, let's go ahead and put this in here. Go to our second page and want to go ahead and resize and do the same thing. So you could change a few things here. So sometimes what I like doing here is I want to select the actual page here and I want to change the background for it. So I want to change the color. So in this case, maybe I want to select the background for this one. So it actually matches my aesthetic here. Let's go ahead and expand it a little bit more and it should be good. Now from here, let's go ahead and resize the length it for itself. So let's go ahead and maybe use like uh, four seconds will be good. And from here, maybe we want to add like uh, five seconds. And we now want to add another page here. So maybe I want to add another page that shows the sunset. So this is good one here. So let's go ahead and expand it further. And by the way, if you want to change a few things about your video, you can go ahead and select that video here, uh, change the volume for that video. So if you wouldn't want any uh, audio for it, so you should be able to minimize it. Now in this case, uh, let's just create a very, very simple one here. So this is uh, roughly like about nine, uh, eight, uh, 13 seconds, which is uh, good for me. Now we now need to add our music. So let's go ahead and search for music here. And from here, what we need to do is we need to search for audio. And from here, let's go ahead and choose an audio that we could use here. So maybe I want to say pop. So let's just say pop. Just press and enter. And from here, let's go ahead and choose music that we could use. But then again, some are actually has pro. All you need to have the pro license for you to use it. But in this case, uh, yeah, you could also up your, upload your own music if you want to and here so you need to go to audio here and you should be able to upload your music so in this case let's go ahead and add our music here since we just added our own and from here let's go ahead and add it to the very start here and we now have our music so let's go ahead and change a few things like the volume for this one so let's go ahead and reduce this to like for 20 percent as an example but then again it actually depends on your video in this case, what we need to do next is we now need to add some transitions. Let's go ahead and click on the tr add transition button here in between our videos. Now we could choose the wipe line wipe here, slides uh, wipe. We also have the circle wipe, the match and move here. We also have the flow. We also have the stack here and the chop. So in this case, you could choose whatever you want here. For example, I want to use the uh, color or color wipe here. 
And for the second one, let's go add another transition. So let's just choose, maybe I want to use the circle wipe here as an example. Now from here, you can add whatever text you want. So let's go ahead and add our text here. So for example, I'm going to say I want to add this specific type of text. So for example, this one. So let's just say this is going to be uh, relax. Just type in relax here. And let's go ahead and change the uh, font size for this one. So maybe I want to change this to 150. Press and enter. And let's go ahead and change uh, the size. In this case, uh, you can reposition it whatever way you want. Obviously, you could change other text here as well. Relax and breathe. Now from here, let's go ahead and reposition it. So maybe I want to add it in here. And the same thing, you can add your animations if you want to. So for example, I want to select the whole thing here. Maybe I want to say I want to make it fade. So maybe pop. Let's choose pop here. This one is the same thing. I want to choose pop here. So in this case, whenever it actually uh, up, uh, actually sees in here, whenever it's actually uh, being shown, it's going to pop. And as you can see right now, it's going to do the transitions. Uh, same thing, you could add your own video here. So the crazy thing about Canva here is you could layer videos together in one page. So for example, let's go ahead and add another video here. Let's just type in video. Let's go to our videos. And this is just an example. I'm going to add another video. So for example, I want to um, basically add it in here. So let's add it in here. As you can see, we have two videos running on the same uh, screen here. So this is an example. You could add your own if you want to. But yeah. So since we are good with this one, let's go and click on share at the top right here. And we want to go ahead and click on download. And from here, let's go and click on download now. And from here, what we need to do next is we just, we just need to access our Facebook. So let's go ahead and go to our Facebook here. And we want to basically access or upload this. Let's go ahead and go to Facebook here. And in here, let's go ahead and create, basically create a reel here. Let's go to uh, our reels. So let's just go ahead and search for it. So in this case, we now have reels here. Let's go ahead and click on it. And from here, let's go ahead and choose the create reel at the top right. And from here, let's go ahead and view our downloads here since we have our relax video here. And let's go ahead and just basically drag it in here. So once you've uploaded your reel here, what you need to do next is you just need to basically customize it. Like for example, if you want to further trim this, if you want to add specific details to it, for example, some description. So what is the visibility for this one? If you want to change this to friends or to public and if you want to also allow remixing. But yeah, but again, depending on how you want to design your uh, reel here, it will depend on what type of videos, what transitions you're going to use. So basically the creative freedom will be actually dependent on you. But in this case, that's how you start creating your reels on Canva. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.